Welcome back. La 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 to catch one fish with your donut, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Got it! <laughs> it's fake! Oh, man, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait here, fishies. Hello? Hey, Paula, it's Mr. Totem Head. I need help hiding from Mr. Explorer. He's trying to catch me. Don't worry, Mr. Totem Head. We'll be right over. Thank you. Huh? Hello? Hi, Paula. Buddy here. Can you protect me from being captured by Mr. Explorer? Sure, Mr. Buddy. See you soon. Oh, hello? Hello, Paula. It's Mr. Explorer. Oh, hi, Mr. Explorer. Please assist me in capturing Talking Totem Head. Finding one will be the best thing that's ever happened to me. Tell Mr. Explorer we cannot help him. Oh, uh... No problem, Mr. Explorer. Jolly good. See you soon. Why are we helping Mr. Explorer? Don't worry. We're going to pretend to help Mr. Explorer, but we'll actually stop him from getting close to the totem heads. Great idea, Paula. Now let's go to the jungle to save the totem heads. Mr. Explorer, we're here to help. Blimey! Talking tree stumps! It's Paula and Billy. We're children, not tree stumps. Oh, great! You're here. Start searching for Talking Totem Head in the bushes. Okay, Mr. Explorer. Hi, Mr. Totem Head. We're here to protect you from being captured. Yippee! Thank you! Banana! Yes, please. Yummy. Good. Since you're here to protect me, I can finally take a nap. Ha. 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 So how do we stop Mr. Explorer from catching the totem heads, Paula? I'm not sure yet, Billy. Aha! I've got <laughs> you! Mr. Explorer, that 
It's Billy! Oh, terribly sorry, Billy. I thought you were talking totem head. Billy's not a talking totem head, but... <gasps> There's one! By golly, you're right! I've got you! I've been waiting for this moment my entire life! Let's pretend other things around here are totem heads, Billy. Got it, Paula. Tell me, do you have a family? Hello? I'm talking to you. Wait a minute. You're just a rock. But I'm very sure that's a talking totem head. Fantastic. Let me see. Hmm. It doesn't feel like a totem head. This is just a tree stump. My, my, you children need your eyes checked. Hey, you're supposed to be protecting me. That's better. That was delicious. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> you burp. I can do it too. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I say, that sounds like a burping totem head. Where is it? Oh, Mr. Explorer, want to see how many fingers I have on my hand? One, two, three, four, five, five fingers. Look here, Mr. Explorer. Your fingers don't concern me. Please stop. Uh, oh, Billy, look out for that spider. A spider? Huh? <gasps> I totally forgot about Mr. Explorer. Quick, we need to escape. This way, Mr. Totem Head. Oops, it's just a rock. My bad. <laughs> oh, phew. All right, back to finding the Totem Head. Which way did he go? Oh, uh, that, that way. way. <laughs> Very well, let's go! That was close! Chalky, we need to do a better job of protecting Mr. Totem Head! It seems we have lost the Totem Head's trail. Oh, no! That's too bad. No matter. We'll just keep searching. <sighs> yes, Mr. Explorer. Hey, can't run anymore. Me too. We have to stop Mr. Explorer for good. I think I know what to do. Calc, bring us the barrel, please. Thanks. Okay, here's the plan. Good job, Chucky. Mr. Explorer is sure to fall for this big totem head. Mr. Explorer is coming. Totem Heads, hide! Hi, Mr. Explorer. I found you a talking Totem Head. Splendid. Lead me to him. Ta-da! Hello, Totem Head. Can you talk? Of course I can. I am a talking Totem Head. Marvelous! My fellow explorers back home will love to meet you. Come with me. Finding you is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Cheerio! Goodbye! Shh! Mr. Totem Head! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Number of the day! One big explorer! One, One big Totem Head!
can read about the sheep, Paula. Okay, Billy. A sheep goes... <laughs> Which animal is next? Wow, so many animals. Yeah, there are one, two, three, four, five animals on this page. Hey, there are one, two, three, four, five of us. We can each take one animal. Yeah, okay. Moo, moo. Oof, oof, oof. Oink, oink, oink. Moo, oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. oink. <laughs> Check out Calc the chicken. And Chucky's a bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reading this book reminds me of the animals in the farm. I miss them. Me too. Then let's visit the farm animals. Too buggy, everyone! Woohoo! Come, Wolfie! <laughs> Eggs help train the hens to lay their real eggs in the right place. Farm animals, here we come! Fluffy sheep! Hi, piggies! Oink, 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 oink. oink. <laughs> Where's Woofy? Woofy, where are you, boy? Woofy, wait for me! <laughs> Woofy! Aw, who's a good boy? You are, Woofy! Oh, hello, children! What brings you here? Hi, Mr. Farmer! We're here to visit the animals! Oh, you should go visit the chickens! Their eggs may hatch any day now! Ooh, chickies! Let's go see! Thanks, Mr. Farmer! Are you coming with us, Mr. Farmer? No, I've got a lot of work to do. You children go on ahead. Okay, we won't disturb you then. Bye-bye. Hi, chickens. <laughs> <gasps> the eggs are over here. How many are there? One, two, two three, four, four, five, six. I found another egg over here. It's all alone. Oh, no. It doesn't have anyone to help it hatch out of its shell, Paula. Let's just put it back with the other eggs. But maybe the chickens do not want to help this egg. That's why they put it all the way over here. Don't worry, Billy. Let's just ask Mr. Farmer how to help it hatch. No, we can't. Mr. Farmer's really busy. We cannot disturb him. He is? Eat up, pigs. Bath time. Eat up, Woofy. I got you, Rooster. Eat up, ducks. Hmm. In that case, we will help to hatch the egg. What should we do? Uh... uh... You have no idea, do you, Paula? Yes, I do. Let me think. Hmm. Aha! We'll ask the supercomputer. Great idea, Paula. You go. I'll stay with Edna. <laughs> That's a great name for the egg, Billy. How can Chalky, you stay with Billy and help him look after Edna. Tim, come with me. Sure, Paula. Let's go. Are you comfy, Edna? Do you need some water? Thanks, Calc. Oh, 
Okay, supercomputer, how do we hatch an egg and run the numbers? Chickens? But we don't have any. Let me tell the supercomputer that. No chickens. It's done. To hatch an egg, step one, get a container. Step two, put the egg in the container. Step three, use heat from a lamp to keep it warm. That sounds easy. But we don't have the same lamp. What about this flashlight? That could work. Let's go back to the farm. Has Egna hatched yet? Not yet, Tim. Hey, this flashlight isn't warm at all. That must be why Egna's not hatching. Then we need more heat. I know. We can use Buggy. I'll just make Buggy's light stronger. Whoa. Here you go, Egna. It's time to hatch. Guys, this is taking too long. Let's just be patient, Tim. Ugh. Calc and I will just go and get one of the chickens to sit on Egna. Wow! Ah, ah. Wow! Come here, chicken! So, did you guys get a chicken? No, but I can be a chicken. I'll just sit on Egna. No way! You're too heavy, Tim! Yeah, let Calc do it! Ha! I would have made a much better chicken than Calc! Let's just put Egna back under Buggy's warm light and wait for her to hatch. No, that's too slow! Just let me handle it, Tim. No, I'll hatch Egna. No, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. No, me. No, Guys, me. Be careful I'll with do Egna. It. Please. I'll do it. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Whew. Oh, no. Whoa. No. Egna. <gasps> oh, I think you hatched Egna, Billy. Well done. Huh? Who's Egna? She is, but there's no chick inside. This shell? <laughs> it's not real. Fake eggs like this show the hens where they should lay their own eggs, so I can find them easily. So Egna wasn't real? Oh man. Well, would you like to see some real eggs hatching? Yes, yes! Okay. Wow! Cool! There are one, two, three, four, five chicks. That's right, Billy. Aw, hi, chickies. They're so cute. Number of the day. Five S. Five chicks. Candy will blow your mind! Blow our mind? That must be one special candy, Tim. This candy doesn't have one flavor. It doesn't have two flavors. It has three flavors! Mmm! It tastes sweet. Oh, it also tastes sour. And it tastes salty. I'll get it. 
Paula speaking. Hi, Paula. It's Maurice. I, I need your help with Captain Redbeard. He's behaving strange. Yeah, all hands on deck. Pirate, go look for land and only return when you find it. Go now. Oh, no. And now he chased Parrot away. First, matey, get me my berry juice. Yar. No worries, Maurice. We'll be coming right over to help. Guys, Maurice needs us to buggy. <laughs> See everywhere. We must find land. First, matey, get me my berry juice. He acts like this whenever he's been in the sun for too long. I always give him a special berry juice, which turns him normal again. But only Parrot can read the recipe. And Parrot's gone now. We'll help you make the berry juice, Maurice. Oh, but we've got more problems. These are all the berries that are left. Oh, dear. One... Two, three. Only three berries. There's only one place on the island where these berries grow. Right here at the X. Hmm. This means we all have a job to do. Billy and Chucky, take the map and get more berries. Okay, Paula. Tim, you go find Parrot. Aha! Uh -huh. Detective Tim is on it. Hard to starboard! Calc, can you make sure nothing bad happens to Redbeard? Then, you and I will try to figure out the berry juice recipe. Detective Tim will save the day. I'm gonna find Parrot in a second. Hmm, not here, but I will find him soon. This is all we have. A cup, a spoon for stirring, a barrel with water, and salt. Salt? Yeah, the berries taste sweet and sour. Adding some salt will make the perfect mix. How about the recipe? Oh yeah, here it is. Berries, a water drop, this must be the salt. And all have the number three next to them. That's great! We have exactly three berries! I think we can do this, Maurice. First, put three berries in the cup. Then, add three drops of water. One, two, three. Now add three salt. Hmm, how do we add the salt? How about using this bowl? Sure, let's try it. One, two, three, three bowls of salt. Uh, I can't stir it. It's too dry because of the salt. Maybe this doesn't mean three water drops. Maybe it means three bowls of water. Of course, that makes more sense. Three bowls of water coming right up. Great, I can stir it now. But it doesn't look very nice though. It has to be right, because we're out of berries. It should be somewhere around here, Chalky. Oh, you found the berries. Good job, Chalky. That's nice. These berries grow in groups. That makes it much easier to pick them. First, matey, is that my berry juice? Uh, yeah. Here you go, Captain. Good! <coughs> Are you okay, Redbeard? Yeah! Too salty! Abandon ship! What happened to Redbeard? Oh, he's just acting a bit silly. Did you find the berries? Yes, we did. That's great! Now we can try to make another berry juice before Captain Redbeard gets worse. Must swim to land! Let's try this again. Three berries. 
Check. Three drops of water wasn't enough. So this must be three bowls of water. I'm already ahead of you, Paula. And three. Three bowls of water. Redbeard said the first drink was too salty. So I guess we need something smaller than a bowl of salt. How about that spoon? Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. One, two, three. Three spoons of salt. Oh, uh, it still doesn't look very nice. Should someone try it? I don't think it's safe to let Redbeard drink it first. Yeah, this ocean reaches as far as my one eye can see. Aw, oh, man. I didn't find Parrot. Oh, no. And Redbeard still hasn't turned back to normal. Guys, I didn't find... Tim, you found Parrot. Huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, is that berry juice? That's great, because I'm so thirsty. Oh, uh... Yuck! This is too salty, and I can't even taste the berries. So we still didn't get the recipe right. Recipe? Three bunches of berries. Three bowls of water. Three pinches of salt. Rock? That sounds different from what we tried. Then let's try it one more time. Can you say that one more time, Parrot? How many berries do we need? Three bunches of berries. Three bunches of berries? What's a bunch? Oh, I know. You see this group of berries? It's called a bunch. A bunch of berries. So we need three of these. One, two, three. Next is three bowls of water. <laughs> At least we had that one right. Already on it, Paula. But what about the salt? What did Parrot say again? Rat, three pinches of salt. I know that one. A pinch of salt. Just grab some with your fingers. One, two, and three. This looks perfect. Hopefully this will bring Captain Redbeard back to normal. Take that, you mean shark. Um, uh, Captain Redbeard, I got your berry juice. Berry juice? Uh, quickly, before the shark takes it. <sighs> ah, that's tasty. Sweet, sour, and a pinch of salt. I'll be in the ship, taking a nap. Aye, aye, Captain. And tell these children to go home. They're too young to be pirates. <laughs> yep, Redbeard is back to normal. Number of the day. Three bowls of water. Versus Dragon, a movie from Pig and Panda. <gasps> and we are invited to the premiere. It's going to be awesome. A giant robot against a giant dragon. Rawr. I guess Mr. Dragon plays the dragon in the movie. <sighs> I wish I had a role in the movie. I'm sure you'll be very good, Tim. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Um, guys, the premiere is in the Far East, and it's tonight. <gasps> then what are we waiting for? Since we're early, can we visit Mr. Dragon? 
Oh, yeah! We can ask him all kinds of stuff about his role in the movie! Sure, guys. We're almost there! <laughs> a giant Mr. Dragon! Look! He's got a little girl! Help! Help me! That's not a little girl! That's Mama Ling! Mr. Dragon! Please let Mama Ling go! Oh! Hello, children! How lovely to see you all! Huh? huh? Back! What's that blank car doing here? Did you order it, bro? No, bro. Now we're gonna have to do this scene all over again! You ruined our take one! Hey, and Panda? What's going on? We're finishing the last scene of our epic movie, Robot vs. Dragon, which is directed by me! And I'm the star of the movie! I'll be playing the robot. After I have defeated the dragon, we will end the scene with amazing fireworks. But what happened to Mr. Dragon? Why is he so big? Oh, I ate too many mooncakes. They always make me very big. But no worries, I should turn back to normal very soon. And that's why we need to finish this scene before Mr. Dragon turns to his normal size again. We invited a lot of people to the premiere of our movie. Without this epic scene, our movie will be a disaster. Oh no! Is there anything we can do to help? Actually, I think yes. Everyone standing in front of the pagoda, you will be playing the villagers of the town. When I say action, you will run and shout. Try to look scared of Mr. Dragon. This is awesome! I'm gonna be in the movie! Robot vs. Dragon. Take two and action! Help! Help me! Ah! Ah! A dragon! A dragon! Ah! Ah! Cat. Pig must be impressed by my acting. I'm sure he wants to give me a bigger role. Something feels missing, but what is it? Hey, bro. Bro, that's a brilliant idea! This will make the scene so much more epic! Why does Billy get to be an action movie star? I'm so much better for that. I'm gonna show Pig and Panda my acting skills. Tim, try not to ruin the scene. Let's do this, people! Robot vs. Dragon, take three, and action! <laughs> The dragon has returned from his slumber and is destroying the land. We've been at peace for centuries, and now that peace is gone! Gone! Why? Oh, why? What was that? Bro, I have no clue. So, I guess you want to give me a bigger role now? Oh, I'll give you something. Why am I standing here? Now I won't be in the shot. It's important that the shouts are coming from all directions. But please don't do any of that fancy acting anymore. Aww. Okay, people, let's continue the scene where Panda dressed as a giant robot and defeats the dragon. Huh? But Panda isn't that big. How is that gonna look epic? Of course we thought of that. I will just position myself right here, and through the camera, it'll look like I'm also gigantic. That's right, bro. Now, go put on your robot costume so we can finish this scene. Robot costume? Uh, I don't have a robot costume, bro. What? How could we 
we finish our movie now? It's called Robot vs. Dragon, not Panda vs. Dragon. And Mr. Dragon could turn back to normal any moment now. I wonder what's taking so long. I know what to do. Okay, people. So, Calc is our new robot hero. He doesn't even need a costume. And Panda will make sure Calc can reach the camera. I will do my very best, bro. Since Calc isn't running and shouting anymore as a villager, can I go join the rest again? You're just fine where you are, Tim. Everyone in position. This is our last chance to get it right. Panda, move Calc out of the shot. Robot versus Dragon, take four. Action! Ah! Ah! It's the dragon! Ah! Run for your life! I guess I'm not needed anymore. Oh, I guess you're also not playing in the movie. <gasps> oh no! Watch out! It's coming! Run for your life! Whoa! Ah! Wow, Tim's acting got so much better. Panda, now move Calc in the shot! Calc, defeat the dragon! <laughs> and camera shake! Yes! That was perfect, people! Yay! And not a moment too soon. I'm back to my normal size. Now we just need one quick shot of the firework. Oh, thanks for getting it, Tim. <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> oh no! Watch out! It's coming! <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Don't be sad, Tim. The movie is great. Yeah, but I'm not in it. Except for my voice. Well, Pig and Panda are also not in the movie. But look how much fun they're having. <laughs> awesome! I saw how you stopped the barrel, Tim. Maybe you're not a hero in the movie. But you're a hero in real life! You saved the movie! <laughs> Thanks, Paula. Amazing! Awesome! This is wonderful! Hooray! We did it, bro! People love it! Bro! Number of the day! Four tanks! 